What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel! Excuse the lion mane hair. <laughs> it's really hot and humid today and um, I just really need to let my hair down. But I'm here to do a review and hopefully this review will be three minutes or under. That's what I'm aiming for. And today I will be reviewing The Walls Around Us by Nova Ren Suma. This is what the cover looks like. I actually read this about, I don't know, like last June I think. So it's been a while since I've read it and a little bit of the details are fuzzy, but um, I'm going to review it from as much as I remember, which is, I mean, pretty decent amount. I've been thinking about it ever since, <laughs> ever since I read it. So, um, yeah, I was actually supposed to post up another video before this, but since this one is releasing within the next week, I thought, you know, let me just post this review up so something in my life releases on time. Um, so that's that. I haven't read anything from this author, so this is the first book I've read from her, and it's supposed to be like this ghostly, scary kind of, not scary, but creepy kind of read, and um, it wasn't really all that bad as somebody who's, you know, easily scared. It wasn't, it was a little bit creepy, I will admit, because of the clashing of events, um, but other than that, you know, it's more like a time travel creepy kind of thing. So we have three characters. We have Amber, who is inside the penitentiary for all girls, like all teenage girls. And then we have Violet, who is a privileged brat who does ballet. And then we have Oriana, the girl who is tying these two girls together. And she is wrongfully accused for a crime that she did not do. And she gets sent to the penitentiary and she gets sent to stay with Amber. So her and Amber kind of get to know each other. Ariana is this really sweet girl and you know she doesn't belong there but she's not going to rat out the person who put her in there and that's unfortunate but um Amber tells us a story from the future whereas Violet tells us a story from the past and then eventually these two stories mash together and it's crazy when that happens um there's so much to incorporate and there's so much to think about and then there's so much to really understand and then when the two parts come together it takes a while for you to understand exactly what is going on but something really eerie is going on and people are starting to notice so I can't say any more than that without ruining the book but it was a really great read I read through it really fast because it was so interesting and it was there were so many different sides to the story and things that were happening and um you know things you were trying to figure out along with them um and yeah it was just it was it was captivating and it was it was really good I actually really like it um I'm if her other books are anything like this, then I will totally pick up um, her other two books pretty soon. My favorite character by far, though, was probably Amber. Um, I really liked her personality, and I really liked uh, how she handled things while she was there. And obviously, I also really liked Oriana. Um, she was really sweet, and she didn't belong there. And I mean, I just... my heart broke for her, honestly. And I hated Violet because she was kind of a brat, a really selfish, privileged brat, and that's just not how you treat somebody you care about. Like, that's that's not okay. Um, so yeah, that is my review. I am hitting four minutes now. <laughs> and that kind of sucks. But um, I will probably post a more detailed written review at some point, just because three minutes wasn't long enough for me to actually give you, or actually four minutes now, wasn't actually enough to give you my full thoughts on the book. So that's it for now. Um, I will probably link that below in the description when it happens. So keep a lookout for that. And I hope you guys pick up this book because it is a really great read. Thank you again to Matt Gelly and to the publishers for allowing me to read this title early. I really appreciate it. That's it for me. It is really hot. I can't breathe. I need something to drink. And I will see you all next time. Bye.